freedom. I say freedom. Freedom. I go freedom. Freedom. I be standing for. I say freedom. Is it prisoner of conscience in Ethiopia? Freedom. They be living for. I say freedom. Women. Freedom. They be fighting for. I say freedom. Support freedom the they've been looking for, I say freedom, no. We cherish freedom of speech. We cherish freedom of speech. Bertica is a role model for women. Bertica stood for justice. Support human rights in Ethiopia. Women for justice and peace. There is a generation that's so we to in this nation, the of freedom. There is a generation that's so empty. We are in this nation, the of freedom. For the release of Bertikan. Freedom. Support the release of Bertikan. Freedom. We cherish freedom. I say freedom. Bertikan is a role model for women. Freedom that we pray for. I say freedom. Bertikan stood for. Freedom the be looking for, I say freedom. Support human rights in Ethiopia. Freedom the be praying for, I say freedom. Women for justice and peace. Freedom the be standing for, I go freedom. We are Bertrand on Mother's Day. Bertrand Khan Medexa is a prisoner of conscience in Ethiopia. these people. I'm an American, and I'm not talking to any of these people. I'm talking to every American that's within hearing of my voice. Bertha Khan Magnessa is a political prisoner. She is the head of the of United for Democracy and Justice political party, a pro-American, pro-democracy political party in Ethiopia. She's been sentenced to life in prison for doing what we are doing here and what you do every time you go to the poll, and that's voting in a democratic election. And she's in jail for that. The government there that our government supports with money and other other types of support uh, is, is it, it's, it's taking these people, it's torturing them, it's murdering them, and it's arresting them. And, the, and, and all they want is democracy. That's why we're here today. And I hope that you will support these folks. These are good folks. Many of them are American citizens. And they came here, many of them, to escape persecution. And where did they come? To the United States of America. And we need our government to also be concerned about their relatives and their families. Eddie. Where is the camera? Oh, it's over. I'm going to read a statement of support from uh, my Congressman Mike Hunter's office. They were supposed to be here, but we were a little bit late. So they send us a letter to me. Statement of support. Ethiopians and Ethiopian Americans for the release of Bukuka Medeksa, May 7, 2010. 
As the founder and chair of Congressional Ethiopia and Ethiopian American Caucus, I'd like to take this opportunity to express my full-hearted opposition for the imprisonment of Ethiopian leader Burtukan Medeksa. It's fitting that we prepare for Mother's Day by sending a strong message of solidarity for a woman whose life is buoyed by a poor family upbringing, compelling her to become a lawyer, judge, and a public servant fighting for the justice in her country. Ms. Medexa's two-year imprisonment and separation from her child is an immediate testament to the sacrifices made by women around the world to aid their families and country people and to nurture a peaceful environment on which our children can prosper. Like many of you, I'm concerned about Ms. Medexa's deteriorating health condition in prison and implore the Ethiopian government to allow members of the Red Cross to visit her and observe her condition. As we come upon the fifth general election of Ethiopia, it's my hope that Ms. Medexa's lifelong struggle to bring validity, validity to democratic freedom of expression and basic human rights in the eyes of Ethiopian citizens is realized. I lament the division and strife that ails the Ethiopian community in their homeland and abroad. On this issue, and call upon the necessary leadership in the U.S. and Ethiopia to work towards reviving the ingredients for a strong civil society. I applaud my colleague, Congressman Donald Payne of New Jersey, for his outspoken request on the subject of her release. I hope more of my colleagues will join would join me in elevating the momentum on an issue that picks at the freedoms we hold for granted in the United States. Sincerely, Michael M. Panda.